okay so here now we have our uh, gardener character that we are going to animate in uh, after effects uh, as you can see that i have separated all the layers uh, which i want to animate individually which i'll be rigging individually so uh, this is very important because uh, in illustrator you have to sort this layer out so that when you import uh, this file into after effects the layers are exactly the same as they are in here so we get uh, individual control over all the layers that we need to animate so for that we have to plan uh, which um, element or uh, which body part we are going to animate and which are okay to be combined with all right so uh, for this character, I'll be animating uh, him something like this. Uh, you can see the rough sketch here. He'll be continuously walking and pouring uh, water to the plants. And the plants will be popping out of the ground. So this will all be in a loop. So as I said that all the layers have to be separate to be uh, imported into After Effects. Uh, here I'll show you that uh, how, how I manage these uh, layers in this design. Okay, I want to animate this plant uh, uh, separately, so I have these two parts of it. So they will be popping uh, up in di with different timing. That's why I have both of them on separate layers. If I wanted uh, the whole of this grass to be animated uh, as a one object, then I wouldn't have uh, mind to keep it keep uh, both of the elements into one layer. Okay, so now uh, here, uh, as you can see, the can. Uh, can is entirely on one layer because it will be one object it, uh, there will not be any uh, additional or secondary animation to it so this will hold be one object uh, as there is no detail animation inside that object okay but uh, when I come to the face you can see that the mouth is on a separate layer the nose is on a separate layer both the eyebrows and both the uh, eyeballs are on separate layers okay uh, because i want to animate his expression uh, and i want control over animating the, his expression and nose so i can take his whole face up and down uh, you know bobbling like uh, moving in perspective also the hair is on separate layer because i want to give secondary action to the hair the ear is there and uh, of course they had uh, so when I'll be going to after this, I'll be pre-composing it the whole uh, head shape the whole, all the elements into one and then inside that composition I'll be animating the detail uh, details of it okay and now uh, going further you can see that the pouch is on a different layer the belt left leg uh, right leg that is the leg one the hip okay the torso is entirely on one layer all the buttons his pocket his uh, belly pocket and uh, his dungri shirt is on one layer all the checks uh, because I, i'll not be going too much into uh, animating uh, any element inside that torso so this is whole of one layer okay then the hand there will not be any additional animation on his sleeves or anything so the entire hand with the sleeve is on one layer so it will be easier for us to rig hand hand one and hand two the leg and the dirt mounts okay uh, these dirt mounts are optional they'll be just moving from here to here and uh, i think i think we can because of the spatial distance between them we can separate both of these on different layers so we have some kind of a parallax effect so let's see if we can select select this entire thing cut it out of that layer make a new layer right mount to and paste it over so now we have both the dirt mounts uh, which have different design on two separate layers so we can animate them with different timings and of course the ground uh, this is just for representation we will be making uh, another shape so that uh, shape in the in after effect so so that we can mask it with this circle and of course the bg
okay now uh, this uh, on overall if you have, uh, notice I have given some uh, film grain kind of texture over this uh, character but it's not necessary uh, that uh, you do that too uh, while well, when you import this file in After Effects the texture might not be there it would be just plain uh, flat fill uh, so uh, you can just go ahead and remove this film grain effect from here or uh, otherwise it is also very easy to give this effect later on in after effects and i think that will be much lighter uh, lighter on the render side so uh, let's just keep it for now and also you would uh, notice that in this torso i have his jacket his buttons all these checks and if you are uh, not used to illustrator that much uh, you can just go ahead and make a very simple character with basic shapes and start uh, on the learning the animation so uh, if, if, if you don't want this uh, uh, th this is not much of a complex character but you can even further simplify this you can just go ahead and have a simple head okay and then I have a simple torso or let's let's do something let's create a fat man and uh, let's fill his head with a different color now you can arrange these objects separately all right now i'm doing this in just one layer but later on we can uh, separate them out uh, similarly you can go ahead and create his uh, legs let's just do that he has thin legs like this you can copy and paste them uh, both the legs and okay now you can uh, let's go ahead and have create his hands And make it make them a little bit thicker. Just go ahead and copy and paste that in place. Press I and pick the skin color. And put this behind the object so to make a sleeve you can reduce this uh, the length of this and you can select both of them copy paste them in place and move them to the other side so you can uh, like this you can make a very simple even if you do this much it's enough you just create two eyes here You can create a simple character like this and uh, start with the rigging and animation and uh, once you get to more uh, detailed illustration like this it it is of course uh, it does uh, look good then it does look better than this one okay but it's not necessary to make such a complex character and deal with all these layers uh, that are coming through so to start you can go ahead and uh, use something like this to animate uh, rig and animate okay okay so now we are uh, inside after effects and uh, let us just import the illustrator file that we had created 
for a gardener let's go to uh, file and new project okay uh, let's go to composition and new composition but uh, what you can do is you can create your own composition here with the uh, document dimensions and the frame rate and everything but uh, even before that we can just uh, go here double click on the project window or you can also go to file and import file and uh, select the file that you need and now this gardener 6 i have saved as cs6 format so i'll be importing the old one which is in cc or uh, uh, illustrator cc make sure you have the compatible illustrator and after effects uh, so that it works smoothly uh, now make sure that you uh, select this option as composition retain layer sizes so that the layers that we had created in illustrator will uh, import in uh, after effects exactly like they were okay um, the layers that were hidden will be hidden and all the sizes and uh, number of layers will be the same okay make sure you haven't checked this uh, sequence options okay make sure it is unchecked and hit import now we already have a comp created for us okay if you can just double click that composition you will see that all the layers that we had created in illustrator are exactly the same here all right uh, before importing i removed the film grain effect uh, that i had on uh, in illustrator to keep it light for animation later on we can of course add the film grain effect in after effects itself all right so i think our file is uh, ready and imported all the assets are here and the layers are like this okay uh, i'll just want to uh, say that uh, like we have this uh, for example we have this torso layer here okay so now you will notice that like in illustrator we don't have these uh, button the pocket and the grid uh, the checks on his shirt as separate objects here we have just one layer so it is important for us to plan beforehand what object we want together and what object we want separate controls on so if i wanted to animate those buttons i would have put them on separate layers now when i have them on in all in one layer i'll be only getting uh, one object one whole entire vector object in uh, after effects to rig okay now uh, the method that we are going to use for uh, rigging uh, this character uh, would we would be uh, using an animation plugin called do ik or do it okay this is a very uh, effective rigging uh, plugin for after effects and most of the rigs are made into this uh, with using this uh, rigging software okay you can uh, it, this is a free plugin in after effects and very easy to install you can go to the uh, rainbox production website and search uh, or you can search in google for doic animation okay so you'll be uh, you'll come to this page where you can uh, read about it how to use it uh, but of course I'll be showing you how to use it for this character and you can hit the uh, download button and it will take you to the download page and depending on Windows or Mac or whatever operating system you are using you can download that and follow the instructions for uh, setting up uh, setting it up in After Effects